it's energizing to hear about all the people that just get out to their shop and, and do something. In my opinion, uh, Americans uh, treat cars with a whole nother uh, level of respect or regard. I mean, in many countries, they're just an appliance to get you from here or there. And then you park them on the street, all your neighbors bang into them, getting in and out of these tight parking spots. But here uh, in the States, you know, the largest single room we have in our house is dedicated to the car. We have a whole different affliction, affection for the automobile than anywhere else. Inside every garage is a car of some sort. This one I'm putting my fingerprint on. We're lowering it, I'm painting it all monochromatic, I'm doing a custom interior in it, 300 louvers in the hood, filling the skirts, uh, twin French antennas. Um, that's where I had free reign to say, yeah, this car is gonna be cool and it's gonna be all mine. Design is more woven into the fabric of the vehicle. Uh, and it needs to be thought about that way. And sometimes people get caught up in just making things and making things different all the way around the car. And, and it really needs to be something that's cohesive. Is there a continuous design theme front to back to interior to paint that that goes all the way through the car so it's not a bunch of disparaging parts. The 1956 Cadillac, uh, just a, a big boat. It's a car that I bought straight out of college uh, against my father's wishes. <laughs> and then I set about customizing it and making my own. Put a 500 cubic inch uh, Cadillac motor in it with a turbo 400 behind it. Uh, I've personally put over 90,000 miles on the car over the 20 years that I've owned it. Uh, speaking of design and style, it's been th through three different paint jobs. So it's kind of kept up with the times on what's happening. And right now it's a little bit more of a timeless, traditional style with gunmetal gray and purple scallops and flames. Speaking of flames, it's got fuel-injected flame fillers that shoot uh, 15 feet out the uh, exhaust pipe. It's a real attention grabber.